Hello, this is Marie from French Polynesia. Um, it's the first time I use Flipgrid. I've had an account for a few months now, but I've never really used it. So thank you for the opportunity of using it. I've just discovered how to make a split view board so I can have all the questions and try not to forget to answer anything. Well, the highlights um, were rediscovering really new tools that were really new to me. It was, I use um, IT very often teaching English. We have loads of iPads at school and um, we have quite a good internet connection. So I use Quizlet. I'm going to use Canva, I'm using, but I've never used all the Google tools. So this is very, very new to me and very, very interesting. Um, I am going to try to really use it with my pupils. The first challenge will be for my pupils to get an email address, an email account on Google. Um, because of European laws and French laws, actually, in education, we are not supposed to be opening an email on Gmail for pupils under 15 years old. So this would be really a challenge, except if we open a G Suite or um, Google for Education in the school, I think it could be free and it could be um, G, GPRD uh, respectful, all the, the European laws. So I'll, I'll have to check that. If any of you have um, an experience or a feedback on that, I would be very happy to hear it. Um, so I, it was really a rich experience. How did I team up? Well, by accident, thank you the Padlet team for welcome to, to, to have welcomed me. And um, it was really um, by accident because I was first in the Canva group and it just disappeared. We're just two of us and the group became inactive very quickly. I think in week two or three, week three, I think. Did you face any challenges as a team member? Yes, because the, the other members organized really nice Zoom meetings. And because I was teaching at that time, I could not attend the meetings. So. I, I missed that, but very nicely, they're recording the meeting. So that was very helpful. And they could share the fun they had chatting and this changing really good ideas. And um, my pupils, the challenges, well, their challenges would be to get an email address and um, that would be it really. Um, what did I learn about myself is that I love using um, technology while teaching. I think it is great. I live in this very small island remote in the South Pacific and uh, the internet opens our world, our small island. We, we, we go any, anywhere we want uh, using technology. We travel, we meet people, we exchange. Uh, everything is really good. And how will I use? I think Google Docs first. I think it's the easiest. So I would try first the Google Docs with my pupils to really collaborate in writing. Uh, I still have to check on recording the uh, the audio and make it public on Google Slides, but I think it is nice as well. Um, I would organize pools, exchanges between the class, with other classes, with other countries. If you want to meet up with your pupils, my pupils are between 10 and 15, 11 and 15 years old. So if you want to set up a project, maybe we could use e-tweening. I attended an um, uh, e-tweening session yesterday um, to discover about e-tweening, and it sounds really good as well. So I hope really meet you maybe next year on the um, EVO sessions. And thank you. Thank you, all of you. Really, a big thank you. Bye.